Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is a demonstration of our new Amazon Fire Stick that has been jailbroken with our new 2.0 software and our current latest build. Our latest build is 10.0. The software that is currently operating this build is 2.0. Now once you have everything connected, you're going to want to power it on. Once you power it on, I'm basically going to walk you through how it is set up and demonstrate some of the basic apps. Now, some of you may have gone on YouTube and have seen different names of different builds. They are pretty much garbage because of the most fact that they are so glitchy as hell. What you're going to see here is a customized build. A customized build that is made pretty basic and simple. It's more like a cell phone than anything else. Simply go to an app and click. As simple as that. Not having to navigate some fancy screen. I try to make these as simple and user friendly as possible. There are a lot of people out there who sell junk. As you can see, this is telling you to register or create an account. This only applies to you if you have an Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, you do not need one. All you need to do is just wait a little bit for the screen to change. You're going to see several options here. Now, the one you're currently looking at is the build you'll get minus one or two movies that are saved in the favorite. This is my personal build. You want to go to your Fire TV settings. Once you're in your Fire TV settings, you want to go to System. After you go to System, you want to go to Network. You're going to want to sign into your Wi-Fi network. Once you do, you're simply going to use on the remote control the little arrow that looks like the U-turn symbol. Hit that several times till you get back to here. Then you're going to want to go into Kodi. Now our Fire Stick is a little different. It comes with a web browser, links to our YouTube page, and numerous other options. Depending upon where you're going, this gives you weather in your local area, but since this is my custom build, it will show the weather for my area. It does take a little bit to load due to the fact that my Wi-Fi is a little slow, unfortunately, today. It does take a minute, though. Once it loads, it is fine. As you can see, it's coming up. I do apologize for that. My Wi-Fi is not doing too well today. As you can see, the weather in my area, the area that you purchased the Fire Stick from, this is pictures. This is basically just some added stuff. If you go here to add-ons, it's not going to show you much. This is just some basic stuff that's been loaded. Videos, if you want to access live content. These top five that you see are the top most used. USA TV Now Live is ABC, NBC, CBS, your network channels. Those are live. Your Dexter TV is also live. Watch Cartoons Online contains cartoons and Japanese anime. Genesis and Phoenix contain movies. These are the most popular five, but if you want to see the rest of our apps, you simply go into add-ons. Once you go into add-ons, they will all load. As you can see, there's numerous options here. Every possible movie, TV show that you could imagine, and sports is, of course, on here, and your feet free pay-per-view sporting events will also be accessible. Now, the one great thing about this when you purchase it from us, that you will be getting lifetime upgrades. What that means is as we come out with better packages, with more content, you can simply return it to us and we will upgrade it for free. Music. Just simply go down here to add-ons. This will give you everything. Pandora, Shoutcast, and some audiobooks are loaded in here for you. Programs and system. Unless you're on the phone with me, you should not need to access these two. What we're going to do right now is do the basics. I'll just show you the basics right now. The US TV Now Live. You simply click on that. Go down here to Live. Then it's going to give you, as you can see, the networks and what's currently on them. Simply click on one and wait for it to play. And as you can see, it played. I am now pausing so I don't get a copyright strike against me. Now, you also have that same option here in Dexter's TV. Dexter's TV also has the most popular movie currently. That is the Star Wars, The Force Awakens 2015. If you want to see that, just simply click there. Wait for it to load. It is on numerous movie options right now, but you simply have to wait for it to load. Now it is currently buffering. My internet is a little bit slow, but now it is playing. The quality is not super HD due to the fact that it is a cam. But as you can see, you saw that basic opening. 
will take a second, and there you go. I've paused it so it does not give you a strike, or should I say give me a copyright strike. 24-7 shows. 24-7 shows are shows that are run on a continuous loop from first to last episode. Anime or live action. If you go to anime, you will just find a specific show or network, like Adult Swim, and you will just play those shows in perpetuity forever until it finally kicks you out. Genesis. Genesis is for movies and TV shows. This will always come up. It's telling you the basics. When you get this, in my Genesis, it's going to give you some basic TV shows that are preloaded here for you. None of the content is located on your Fire Stick. It is linked to your Fire Stick. This is a simple way for customers to test it. As you can see, some of these are older shows, newer shows. Uh, some of these are not even out yet, basically. They're just on here for your use. If you do not wish to access them, that is perfectly fine. If you want to contact me, I can tell you how to remove them. What we're going to do is we're going to go to one show right now, Ash vs. Evil Dead. All of your Fire Sticks have been tested and through with movies and TV shows. Once you click on it, everything for this is basically point and click. Find a show, click the button, let it load. If it does not load the first time, you want to click it again and again. At a worst case scenario, you would have to go through each link individually. Most of the times, you won't need to do that. Unfortunately, there's some times that you will need to do that. And we're just waiting right now for it to load. My internet is a little slow, and I do apologize for that. Faster internet does mean it does load faster. As you can see, it's found one link. It is trying to load it for us. It is working. And as you can see, it has come up. It is a Stars exclusive show. Well, it is now your exclusive show. There's no stars about it. Anything that is on Amazon Prime, Netflix, or Hulu, you now have access to for free. Now, to find your movies in theaters, I will do a basic demonstration of that. Later on, I'll be uploading videos giving you more explanations on each one of these apps. Movies in theaters. These are movies that are currently out either in theaters or have just been released on Hulu, Amazon Prime, or Netflix. Some of our movies we actually have access to a week or farther ahead than they would be in theaters. As you can see, there's a Netflix exclusive, The Ridiculous Six. Of course, Star Wars, Hateful Eight. As you can see, there's basically you point and you click. That's all there is to it. And that will come up on occasion. Just use your U-turn. Go here to the add-ons. And you will see many other options. Spanish and English is available. Numerous sports and kids cartoons. All you have to do is either watch our videos or contact me directly if you have any issues or problems with accessing anything. It even has adult content, but let's say you want to find something. Most of these will be point and click. Let's try one channel. Let's go to movies. One channel is pretty good because it has numerous links. Let's go to most popular. Uh, let's try Jurassic World. Just click the one button. As you can see, some of these check marks means that I have tested these movies already to make sure they are working fine. When you click on it, it's going to look for the links that are functional. So it's going to go through each one until it finds one that works. Once that it works, it's going to load the movie for you. And as you can see, the movie has loaded just fine. I do apologize. I can't show too much of the movie or I will get a strike on my channel. Now, all you have to do is just use your option to go backwards. And that's pretty much it. You'll have live streaming movies and television. Now, if you have any issues with your Amazon Fire Stick, you can always contact us. As you can see, these are not the ordinary builds. These are a custom build. A custom build allows you a lot more flexibility and ease of use and not so many clutter on the screen. I try to make this as simple as possible. I want to make sure that the customers are, of course, happy. Here is your live sports. This is a fairly new app. NBA and NHL. Once you click on this, this will give you games will tell you the times and that they are streaming when they are playing. Unfortunately, it is far too late for these games to play, but we also have a replay option. 
for the NFL and NBA. We have numerous movie apps. We even have a South Park app specifically for the lovers of South Park. We have streaming content. Sports Devil is where you'll be finding your pay-per-views. WWE, UFC, and of course, boxing. Why pay 100 bucks for an overrided, sorry, the overhyped hugging match when you can get it for free? As you can see, there's other options here. And here is for your adult content. You'll have Video Devil that has basically everything on the web. And you'll have one more on here as well. Um, if you ever have any issues and problems, we do provide a full one-year warranty and tech support. And as we come out with new builds, we will be making the announcement on our Facebook page. So if you own one of our Fire Sticks, just send it back to us, and that's it. Now, let's say you didn't sign in with the Amazon account. If you press the Home button one time, what's going to happen is it's going to take you here, but then it's going to take you back to the Amazon Home screen. It will take a little bit to load. My internet's a little slow. But if you go all the way down here to settings, as you can see where it says my accounts, as you can see, it is not signed in. There is no requirement for an Amazon account. But unfortunately, that means anything you see up here is nothing more than pretty pictures. There ain't nothing that's selectable unless you have an Amazon account. Now, I do apologize for that. I know some of you don't want to create an Amazon account. You don't need to if you don't want to. But the option is available there. When you take the remote again, press that home button two times. Now, what's going to happen is it does want you, of course, to sign into an Amazon account. But when you press the home button two times, it's going to bring you back here. Now, most people don't need to create the Amazon account. It takes a little time to get used to how this works. But once you do, it's pretty much second nature. It's all I use. This will help replace your cable or satellite, Netflix, sorry, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime. Now, if you have any questions, you can leave comments below or you can email me directly. Or, of course, if you're looking at our ad on our Fire Stick page on Facebook, you can always text me or call me directly. I'm always willing to help at any of our customers. We do accept orders from all over the country. We do have our PayPal account up and running. Now, once again, I do want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or text me directly. And thank you for purchasing one of our Jailbroken Fire Sticks version 2.0.